Hey, this is Shane, Point to the Word. This will be part number eight of my testimony. Um, I had uh, two edits to actually to make. Um, I, I don't edit these, obviously. Uh, it's pretty raw. But uh, yeah, I had two edits to make. So the first one, um, I said I would uh, like listen to Rick Warren. Like, I would encourage that, and I would, um, you know, advise that. But... I, I I meant to say I would not. I would not advise listening to Rick Warren. So uh, I just wanted to clarify that. And also, at the end of the video, I said we'll be on a new topic, but I just meant like a new video. So, yeah, this is part number eight of my testimony. Um, So I was talking about uh, last time how I was going to include another scripture uh, that really points out, like, you know, the new creation and all that. So here it is. It's from First Peter. Uh, chapter 4, that's verse 2 through 4. It says that he no longer uh, should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, revelings, uh, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. So it's saying that, you know, you know, you're walking in all these things, you know, that were wrong. And this is a verse that really uh speaks well, like really uh you know, just in a nutshell describes, you know, the you know, new creature, new creation that you are. Um this really in a nutshell says that. So it says, Wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you and that is really um like the case like you know they think it's strange like all oh, these people i used to run with you know what i mean all these people that i used to hang out with and do a bunch of sinful things you know they think it's strange that you're not you know running with them so yeah that i don't know to me that speaks volumes of the change and all that so yeah so anyway i've Stop listening to Rick Warren. I'm listening to other things now. Um, one thing I would advise, like, um, and, I, and I can't say I did it, like, so, you know, I'm, you know, a hypocrite for saying this, but one thing I would advise that I did not do is literally just stick to Scripture. Like, just, just read your Bible, read an audio Bible, and don't go to, like, other sources for, like, you know, don't go sermon after sermon after sermon and... You know what I mean? Because, like, that really, you know, you're supposed to rely on the Holy Spirit to teach you. So, like, once you go into other sermons and, you know, other stuff like that, you begin to have, like, that, you know, worldview that you see things through. So, I don't know, that's some I advise. Like, just, you know, leave that aside because that's what I started doing. Like, I started listening, you know, sermon after sermon after sermon, and I kept getting, like, like involved in all these like different things and I was and I was like so um like deceived. So like one thing I can say is like you know before Christ, before like I was saved, I was always skeptical of like everything. You know what I mean? So like I was always you know, I want to make sure that it was accurate. And now I find that like like, once you're, like, saved, like, you're, like, more gullible. I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, you, know, you think, oh, here's a pastor, here's a preacher, or whatever. Oh, he, you know, he won't do me wrong kind of thing. So, like, I don't know, you know, you almost seem, like, really gullible now. So, that's one thing, like, just really, you know, ask for God's discernment on that. So, yeah, and just a couple of scriptures, like, in order to be saved, like, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if you shall confess with your heart the Lord, or I'm sorry, if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God is raised from the dead, you will be saved. So that's one of them. And then the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And it's verses like 3 to 4. And it's how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and rose again the third day uh, according to the scriptures. So... And it's not of works, and that can be found in uh, Ephesians chapter um, 2, verses 8 and 9. And that says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself it is a gift of God, 
not of works, lest any man boast. So you know, you'd be prideful if you worked your way to heaven and uh, in your boast, so in your works. So yeah, I just want to include that stuff as well. But yeah, so like I received like a thing in the mail that I didn't know who it was by, but it was like you know it was a you know preacher or pastor or whatever. So I'm like, oh. I just got saved, and oh, there's a thing in the mail. So I, you know, what I mean, like, I, I, I gotta check this out. So I went there and, you know, looked into that stuff. And after I had known better, it was like a Seventh Day Adventist church. So they were, like, really off base. Like they're kind of a cult. So they're really like works based, and they like make you like. Um, like, still partaking the Sabbath and stuff, so, yeah, they're really off base, so, like, I was falling for that, so, yeah, really be careful, because, yeah, it's almost like your, your blinders are, you know, on, like, you don't really see what's on happening, so, yeah, I'll leave it there, uh, it'll be on another part next time.